Since the beginning of time, mankind has had a deep need and desire to tell stories. And although we were inventive and our imagination kept coming up with more and more irresistible ideas, we faced a serious barrier when trying to bring them to life, the lack of proper tools. It was necessary to introduce state-of-the-art solutions. In spite of ingenious advancements on many levels, the technology left a lot to be desired. Further technological progress paved the way for increasingly bolder productions. Once an idea had been developed to perfection, a desire to save it for posterity would appear. And then it became obvious that the existing forms of artistic expression were not able to satisfy all the wants and needs of the human soul. Yeah, my friend. Are all of these acting guys always late? If I were an actor, I would know. But my muse is, as you see, technology. Is this going to take much longer? Mister, those things can't be hurried. It's not horse racing, it's 
Art. Art. Theater is art. And this, this here piece of metal... Pleograph. Pleograph. Chanting, my friend. Who cares what it's called as long as it photographs like the Americans? And, and will this, this damn actor finally get here? <laughs> the Americans are far behind, sir. But let's suppose somebody sometime invents a device, kind of a telephone, that everybody could carry around, no cable needed, so then he could telephone such an actor and give him a good telling off. A movable phone? <laughs> a movable phone, nice word. Oh, what are you blabbering? I'm a movable apparatus. My soliloquy is waiting. To be or not to be, this is the ordeal of Is this what he's humans. going to proclaim? No, no proclaim, no proclaim. He's to act, act it. To be or not to be. Oh, this it's a bit like Shakespeare. No, 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 this is not Shakespeare here. If you want to know, this is a variety, an inspiration, a variation on Shakespeare, but not Shakespeare. To be or not to be, this is the ordeal. See? Anyway, are, are you done with this Plinthio staff? Pleograph. Pleograph, my friend. You understand it's deaf. Him? This, the apparatus, does not record sound. What do you mean? Uh, how's it going to record my soliloquy? All that poetry? Well, we'll recall the actor's countenance, eyes, gestures. If the actor does it right, the audience will feel it. Oh, look. <laughs> Maestro! You're here! <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> completely plastered. He smashed uh, like, like Russian China. To be or not to be? This is the question. Sir, those are not the lines. Uh, Sir, uh, what's going on? Uh, what time is it? It's, uh, this time whether it's day, this and, and you're already completely mind to suffer the slicks and I also found tricks just for that's, that, that's not my soliloquy. You're confused. Uh, oh my God. Uh, 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 Go on, go on. I'll with you. <laughs> sir, what happened to you? Uh, 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 sir, uh, sir. A uh, horse! A kingdom for a horse! Yes, yes, Where's the apparatus? Miss uh, Sally, yes. we need some water. Lots of water. Wake, Duncan, with thy knocking! Not my lines, you. Sleep, to go. sleep, to chance uh, to dream! <laughs> no more film. What a great actor. Stempowski. Yeah, to play a drunkard like that. Right. No. No, it's a tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> well, this might not be a soliloquy of the ordeal of human soul. Ophelia! But... Shut up! I <laughs> killed my brother! Shut get out! Get off now! <laughs> I can assure you people will be talking about this film in a hundred years. What, are you kidding me? That's Ophelia! Not... Be quiet! Is this a miserable farce in this ham of an actor? Is this a boozer? Boozer? Nice one. Oh, this is an absolute scandal. Where is the director? Who yells stop here? Who yells stop here? Why are you yelling stop on my set, huh? I'm the one who yells stop here. Where's the set manager? Arthur, take the guy away. We're shooting a movie here. It's our historical advisor. Oh. Sir, you are a complete history ignoramus. The epithet boozer completely and entirely clashes with the structure of the character. Mr. Director, Mr. Director, who's the stop? Something I No, no, too much to be? it was good. We got a guest uh, on set. There's many ways to play an alcoholic. It's not easy to play an alcoholic. It's not easy to play dragging a lush out of a carriage either. Your character would never use the expression boozer. I don't know why. He was an educated bloke, he knew Shakespeare, I mean, he read him superficially, so he had a sophisticated vocabulary. Right, right. So a Shakespeare guy like him, what'd he say? Rami? No. South? No! Charush, South. No! What's going on with you people? You are making the reconstruction of the first Polish film. The erection, Kazimierz Prusinski. Title, Return of the Tipsificator. So what would he say? Tipsificator! He'd say Tipsificator! Gotta do again, take 12B. Yes, sir. Guys, we go again. Take 12B. Let's uh, go back to first positions. Take 12B. Uh, but I was good, right? Very good. Back to the horse, if you please. Scene 12B, take 8. A sec, just a sec, sir. Will the people get it at all? What? 
The tipsificator, will they get it? I mean, will they know what's going on? Who uses many syllable words today? Only monosyllables. Yeah, like Zoom or Burger. You know, today people are not stupid. They want to get what they watch. I know a lot of different people, many friends, you know, and they all want to get what they watch. The days of Bergman are done. Arthur, are these the days of Bergman or, or the other guy? No. And this is going for streaming, sir. Maybe let's leave the boozer then. No! Must be tipsificator, I say! Okay, okay. You want tipsificator, you'll get tipsificator. But it's a bit like Terminator. Sequel or something. They'll cut it anyway. I'm sure they will, the bastard. Silence on set. Scene 12B, take 8. Action! He's completely blaster. To be or not to be, this is the quest. No, no, not my line, sir. Huh? Weather to snow. What, what time is it? The slings and arrows what? of our What are you talking what? about? Uh, how, sir, how are you supposed to act? Uh, off you go. Listen now. Sir, listen. Uh, 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 sir, sir. Get inside. A, a horse! Get inside. A kingdom for a horse! Miss Sally! Water! We need We're water! Duncan with thy mocking! Lots of water! Sleep! A shed! Dream! No more film! What a great actor! Pimposki. Yeah, to play a drunkard like that? No, it's a... Uh, it's tragedy! Tragedy! Well, Mr. Gooski. This might not be a soliloquy of the ordeal of human soul, but I can assure uh, you that... Ophelia! <laughs> Shut up! I killed my brother! Get lost, sir! I can assure you people will be talking about this film in a hundred years. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this Ophelia! is just a dumb farce. Beat it now! <laughs> it's nothing but a dumb farce, and this ham actor is a boozer! I mean a sous... No, I mean a tipsifilator. Tipsificator. Tipsificator. Tipsificator? Nice work. Stop! He's yelling stop again, he's yelling. What are you doing, man? You see how they acted, nice, huh? And the guy said the tipsificator thing, right? Everything is in dire. Need to be rigorously and absolutely reshuffled. What, are you, everything? You know how much that we spent, sir? Look here. This is the frame from the original return of the tipsificator, which, as you know, is gone. Observe that the driver conducts our fatigued hero into a tenement house while the incident takes place on a street in Warsaw. In the capital. On a street in Warsaw, you hear? Does this resemble Warsaw? The Scottish would be appropriate in Pride and Prejudice, but not in return of the tipsificator. Excuse me, but the set design was agreed on by Mr. Director. Set design? What the hell is this tent behind that fence? Westerns had tents. John Ford. Made western. Sure did. But we are not making a western, but the first cast bullet. And no John Ford made any westerns in the 19th century. But so when he did, he did have tents, right? For engines. Easy, Charush. Sir, we work in this uh, here technology that's called virtual reality. I really See this like ball westerns. over there? Right, right. We all like westerns, but coming back to this VR technology, virtual reality in short, it's like this. You put on a helmet, you come into a cinema, you look around you, and you see everything around you. So when you shoot in this technology, you gotta hide the crew somewhere. So where can I hide the crew? Under the bush or something? So I hide them in an elegantly camouflaged tent. My idea, by the way. And as for the street in Warsaw, where the hell would I get you a street in Warsaw that would look like a hundred, hundred years old or something? Yeah, no streets like that anymore. I go a lot around Warsaw, so I know. That was a rhetorical question. Magnificent Seven? Bad Western? Warsaw. You see the palace of culture everywhere. The banks of China, or Holland, Italian joints. I propose Italian. Spaghetti westerns with Eastwood? Not like them? Charles, Charles, Charles. Easy on the westerns already, huh? We're talking about the cottage. It's very climactic and we got it at a discount with the catering. Bistro. Bistro. There's a bistro downstairs. You can get there through the courtyard. They, they serve when, a... When I was taking acting classes... They all told me I look a lot like Eastwood. Yeah, even then. Sir, those actors are a sick joke. This one, a Polish dirty Harry, and the boozer almost got killed when getting out of the cart. Mustaches glued on, and those ridiculous communism sideburns. I wove them all night. And a plane flew overhead in a shot. 
And no, not a biplane of the brothers, right? But a regular Boeing 747 American made. A good American plane and good American cinema. Easy, Charush. I know, I know you like Americans, but really, dear sir, I see you're a real swell guy. I can tell. I know people, and I can tell you really want to turn it into a good film. We do too, gentlemen. Yes, don't we? yes. So I'll tell you a little secret. Maybe the audience will notice the things you talk about, and maybe they'll write about it on internet or something. But the truth is that deep down, in the heart, you know, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Because, dear sir, this is the thing. What? The one, the one eluding all the rules. That's something unforgettable, beautiful, unusual. What? Sometimes crazy, sometimes goofy, but always, really always has that special it. But what? Cinema! Thank you.